Start na ba? Oo, na. Hello everyone! Hi! So good to see you again. Thank you so much. I just wanna, you know, give you a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Kasi yung mga kasi nakahawak ng phone. Pero, I I love seeing you guys. I miss you all. And I'm, I'm so happy every time I see you. Um, well, this is just like uh, a pre-press conference that we're doing. It's a mini press one. Because our real press con is happening in Thailand, in Bangkok, April 11, may meet ito ah, with Shaynes, with Miss Universe Shaynes. I hope that, you know, Kunan can join, you know, the, the press con, but I'm sure that Shaynes will be there, and then we're going to post it uh, today as well. Uh, it's going to be exciting because uh, we are announcing uh, of course, uh, you can having four franchises in this universe. I think we're the only one with, you know, four, four franchises and maybe another one. But still, it's 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 a uh, it's a blessing, you know, to be trusted by Kun An uh, and of course um, her team, uh, Miss O, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Raul, um, and. Uh, Attorney Mauro, so uh, I'm, I'm so thankful to them. But of course, we're here as well. Uh, I'm so, you know, beyond ecstatic to be able to introduce to you a woman of substance. She actually, you know, uh, auditioned to Miss New Zealand 10 years ago. Oh! Uh, she was so young. Uh, and um, she didn't make it. But of course, like other queens at Yona Bia. Uh, there's a better and bigger, you know, uh, in store for them in the future. And I believe this is her time to shine. Uh, she's an actress as well, in her own right. Uh, she actually auditioned for Miss UAE before. Uh, she's one of the, um, the finest uh, models and influencers here. She's half New Zealander or Kiwi, half Kiwi and half Filipino. So I'm, from, I'm, I'm super proud uh, that um, I would love to introduce to you uh, our appointed <laughs> Miss Universe New Zealand. She's here now? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, okay. They're walking, they're walking. They're walking. okay. So, well, um, it's been so heartwarming for me that you know I was supported by Miss Universe Organization on this appointment. Um, and let me know if she's actually there across the door so I can actually call her. Uh, I know everyone is actually excited to hear about her. Um, but uh, we're just a few minutes away to actually, you know, uh, shashing her uh, here. And of course, uh, crowning her uh, on April uh, 11 uh, in Thailand, in Bangkok. So, uh, let's all give a round of applause and welcome the new Miss Universe New Zealand, Frankie Russell. Ah! Questions now? No. First question. Ah, so, Pao first. I have a list of 
Hello. Frankie, I'm here. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm here. Hi, Frankie. Thank you. Hello, Pao. So, how are you? I'm very excited. How are you? I'm good. I'm fantastic. <laughs> nice seeing you again. <laughs> because I saw you like in showbiz industry, and I'm so happy to see you here in pageant industry. First, congratulations, Frankie. I just want to know, what made you say yes to accept to be newly appointed as Miss Universe New Zealand? It's nice to see you again, and thank you for, for asking. Um, it was a no-brainer. I mean, to be able to wear my home country, the, the country of my father, across my chest on the international stage is a dream come true. New Zealand hasn't had a girl on the international stage in four or five years before the pandemic. So it really is a dream, and I feel like under the huge umbrella, alongside some amazing Miss Universe franchises, Bahrain, Pakistan, and Egypt, to add New Zealand to that umbrella, I'm just so glad to be a part of it. Thank you so much, and congratulations. <coughs> and for Sorry, Josh, you again, I have a question. I, uh, we're kind of curious, did Kunan offer you to, be, to acclaim this uh, franchise? Actually, I offered it. So, uh, you know the story that Bahrain was offered to me. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, I offered uh, them to handle Pakistan. So, if you can actually see the pattern, uh, I always get the franchises. Mm -hmm. Na dormant, like a volcano. Na patay na. <laughs> so, parang feeling na binubuhay ko yung mga franchise na wala na. And, you know, because of that, I feel like it, it became a revolution. And I, I know that you've been, you know, reading comments on social media saying that, you know, oh, Josh, what are you doing? You're a You know, it, it, it becomes fun. But also, deep inside my heart, I feel like, you know, helping women to be able to have a platform, um, it, it's a different kind of happiness. So, ako talaga mismo yung nagsabi sa kanya that I want to actually handle New Zealand because four years, walang nag-handle it. Uh, yeah. Nobody, you know, it's either nobody wants it or nobody, you know, is brave enough to, you know, push it forward. But then again, there's so many beautiful women in New Zealand. I think they have, like, you know, they had a winner uh, before. 1983. 1983, mm -hmm. so, yo, so no, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I think it's it's a perfect opportunity for me to uh, other franchise, even though last year, sabi ko, hindi na ako mag kasi there's just too much na. So, but, but I, I feel like as long as there's a girl dreaming, I'm going to be here and, and, and help and support. Thank you so much. Mm. And I have a question from Philippine Star, Danny Brad. So his question is, would you bring your four queens here in the, in the Philippines? I think so. Why not? Because of course I'm Filipino. They cannot take it away from me. <laughs> I have a Filipino passport. I'm, I'm pure Filipino. Everywhere I go, I, I shout it. I, I'm so proud that I'm Filipino. Uh, this is my hometown. Uh, lahat ng paborito ko ng Pinoy food uh, ay Pinoy food uh, and of course the best trainers are in the Philippines so even even uh, some countries like Indonesia, Malaysia iba dito nagtitrain yes. uh, even the Latinas now I've heard na may mga Latinas na nagpapatrain na sa mga vloggers online uh, okay. yeah so uh, I, I think uh, it also adds to the business of the Filipinos everything that actually adds up to the progress and 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 the uh, and the uh, uh, financial wealth of Filipinos. I think we should actually welcome that. Thank you. And a uh, follow-up question from Philip again. So, when compared to your three other franchises, what challenge what challenges did surface in Miss Universe New Zealand? I think, believe it or not, must must lighter in Miss Universe New Zealand because. Uh, Miss University Bahrain uh, and Miss University Pakistan and Egypt, uh, as you all know, it's a Muslim you know, country and have so many restrictions that, of course, and I respect that, we are the, we were the first one to actually introduce Burkini on the national, uh, on, the, on the international stage of Miss Universe, and it never happened before. And I'm so happy because uh, uh, Kun An and, and, and her team are very supportive of that, uh, very inclusive, uh, and of course, Erica Robin made it to ano ba, top finalist, uh, you know, uh, last year. So for me, uh, it's actually lighter to have Miss Universe New Zealand because, you know, uh, like the Philippines, uh, they can actually wear whatever they want to wear, you know. And of course, you know, my, my girls are say, hindi ko pinipilit mag eh. Uh, like for example, Miss Egypt, yeah. she wanted to wear uh, bikini, she told me that. Uh, Josh, can I actually wear a bikini? I was like, of, of course, it's your body. You know, it's your body. It's your choice. It's your story. It's your rules. 
So uh, for me, uh, it's just imperative mm. to uh, respect whatever uh, the choice of a woman. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pao. <coughs> Adam. <coughs> Si Adam New, as the current national director of New, oh, Miss Universe New Zealand, one measure of goal you should work on to regain the glory days of New Zealand in the budget work, specifically in Miss Universe. Well, I think more than hard work, I just need to be myself. Uh, I Again, I respect uh, women's choices. Uh, for me, it's more about the platform. It's not just about, you know, of course, who doesn't want to win the Miss Universe crown, but for me, it's the platform. <coughs> I'm a fan of Miss Universe. Um, I remember when I was elementary, uwi ako na maaga from school just to watch Miss Universe. Uh, it's actually my passion. And, and for me, um, kahit makatunong ako ng konti dun sa brand for its longevity, masaya na ako dun eh. Kasi as Filipinos fans talaga tayo ng Miss Universe, eh, it's, it's actually in our hearts. Whatever happens, kahit ano pang controversy yan, kahit ano pang drama yan, it's, it's, uh, Miss Universe is Miss Universe. It's still, you know, the Rolls Royce of pageant. And you know, going back to your to your question, for me, I'll just work hard uh, as I've been working hard with my team. And of course, it's it's my it's also not just me. It's it's my team who makes um, this you know dreams reality. And of course, I want to thank everyone, uh, all of you, because uh, you support you know uh, you support me because I'm Filipino. Uh, you support me because I'm, I'm your fan. Uh, but but also you support pageantry in general. It, it's actually something that you know exists because of our unity together. So I feel like tayo lahat yung mumuhay sa sa pageant. And without all of us, without our unity, without our togetherness, uh, hindi yun ang possible. So thank you. Thank you very much. And for the <coughs> my question is, uh, aside from uh, the Miss Universe crown, what do you look forward to? <coughs> Sorry to gain in your journey uh, for coming to the universe in Mexico? Definitely an exciting thing for me would be the sisterhood. I mean, I love to travel and uh, learning about new cultures. So to meet girls from all around the world who are sharing their advocacies, we can all learn from them. And I'm excited just to, to make new friends and grow these partnerships and hopefully change the universe. <laughs> okay. Uh, last question. Do you think you can make a difference when you get there? Definitely. I mean, I think the fact that there's no age restriction now. I mean, last year I thought that would have been my last chance at trying pageantry, but now it's it's breaking all stereotypes. I mean, credits to Kun An who made this possible. I'm I'm 29 years old, but it's I feel like my journey is just beginning. I'm excited to end my 20s as a whole new woman, a whole new chapter. You're Miss Universe New Zealand. Wow. Okay, thank you, and best of luck. Thank you. Adam? Hi. <coughs> Hi, Frankie. Hello, Adam. It's nice to see you. Me good. So nice to finally meet you in person. So, you know, when we Google your name, the first uh, the first things that will pop up of your name is your celebrity background. So I wonder, how different will you be this time around from your previous foray in our showbiz industry? I feel that every chapter in my life has served as a purpose where I've grown and become a new person. Who I was five or ten years ago I feel is completely different to who I am standing in front of you today. You might remember me as PBB Frankie, the you know, small town girl from New Zealand, but I'm here standing in front of you just showing you that anything is possible through any obstacles, whether that be anything. I mean, it's I'm here and I'm so excited. I, I can't wait to show you a whole new Frankie. How has how has the adjustment been like from from your modeling and showbiz background? Have you, do you have did you have sort of a hard time adjusting to it? Because let's face it, showbiz and pageantry, although both entertainment and forms have two different uh, 
To be honest, I want to emphasize the fact that my journey is just beginning. So I feel it's all about to unfold and unravel, but it's definitely completely different to showbiz. And that's what excites me. I really thrive in new situations, and I can't wait to ta tackle this head on. Have you always wanted to become a beauty queen? Actually, I want to share with you, I, in 2014, I was a teenager, I was 18 or 19 years old, and I actually auditioned for Miss Universe New Zealand, and that, it definitely was a dream of mine. I, I really look back at me then, I think I did not have the experience that I could offer standing in front of you today. So, yes, I have always dreamed of it, but that dream has been put aside because of the career that I've been working on, whether that be in in the showbiz industry and learning about my mother's culture when I moved here to the Philippines. and So yes, it has always been a dream to be a beauty queen. I always watch Miss Universe every year. Most of my friends here are beauty queens, so I just never thought it was possible. I mean, with the age limit being lifted and, and Josh Eugen now having the Miss Universe New Zealand franchise, I, I'm just so grateful and excited. So having what you said, I wonder if it's all right for you to be the who's going to be training you for your Miss Universe, upcoming Miss Universe journey. So we, we have just started, so we're, we're putting together a team, but obviously the best are here in the Philippines, so we can look forward to that. Thank you. Thank Can you. I ask a question to your mentor, yeah. your national director? <laughs> Mama Josh. Hi, Adam. Yeah, so, you know, this is your fourth franchise. And obviously, you know, <coughs> that's a gift. Kunan really loves you so much. That's, okay. that's all of us. <laughs> that's all of us. So, my question is, you know, given that there's so many controversies happening in Miss Universe right now, everything that's happening, how can you, how can you convince Filipino pageant fans to give Miss Universe a chance, considering in light of the recent pronouncements of the new owner about, about the latest controversies. Like, how is Kunan in front of you compared to how we see her on social media? Well, to answer your first question, I think our love for Miss Universe per se is actually so vigorous. It will never end. Uh, alam nyo yan, kahit anong mangyari sa Miss Universe, mahal nyo ang Miss Universe. Mahal natin ang Miss Universe kasi it's like Jollibee eh. Na parang kinalakihan na natin na, you know, we, we always, you know, uh, crave for Miss Universe. Um, and of course, as I mentioned, uh, Adam, even though there are some controversies or, or drama or whatever, it's part of that. But, you know, for 70 plus years, there's no major scandal of Miss Universe. Uh, even the Donald Trump era, I'm not saying that it's because Donald Trump era, you know, has to be scandalous. But you know, even the Donald Trump era, what a major scandal in the universe. So I feel like you know the brand itself is still gold, you know, and and uh, nobody can defeat it, and it's like the Rolls Royce of, of pageantry. And uh, to answer your second question about Kunan, Kunan is so sweet. Uh, let me tell you a story. No, uh, after the preliminary, namin, we had like a national directors uh, cocktail. Like, I think you were there uh, in El Salvador. Um, and she actually called me, because I have national letters, like 90 national letters, and she called me, Josh. And I said, like, lad. And she said, Pakistan! And she was like, you know, of course I have three girls, and I love me three girls, but she was like, you know, shopping Pakistan, and saying, you know, she did so good, she, she did so well. And you know, I'm, I'm so happy because she's so appreciative, uh, she's very kind. Uh, I think it's not wrong to be a strong woman. Um, I, I was actually raised by, you know, uh, strong women growing up, and there's no shame to that. And I feel like uh, she's just doing her job to protect the legacy of, you know, of Miss Universe. And uh, also to add is, um, the Filipinos because are the best trainers of, of pageantry. Yeah. You know, I can claim that. You know, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I, I know a lot of Latinas, or a few Latinas yeah. that are like, in Q&A, okay. you know, online. Uh, even the, the walks of, you know, uh, former Miss Indonesia, Miss Malaysia, dito naman sila nagpapating. And we're still, you know, we're still the best in, 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 in pageantry. Uh, just right now, there's so many, you know, varieties and aspects to it that, you know, we have to embrace as well. Because, you know, for me, change is the only uh, constant thing in this world. So, thank you. Philippine Inquirer, hello. Hi, good afternoon. Armin Adina from the Philippine Daily Inquirer. 
I have a question for Ms. Russell. Um, who among your PVB friends knew that you will become Miss Universe New Zealand? And if you have already told them, what did they tell you? And are they going to support you in Mexico? Um, thank you for that question. I'm, I'm excited to talk about this because she is a fellow Kiwi. We um, we started PVB together named Diana Mackey. She was a oh. oh. two years ago. She is one of my best friends, as I think a lot of people know. And it was supposed to be hush hush, but but Shemper, I asked advice from her because she has first hand experience, and she is so excited. And she, I really feel that she shares my. We share each other's wins. I was so excited to see she was flying with Pal, a dream of hers. She's now traveling around, and she was so stunning in Vinny Vinny. I was so excited to be watching her there in Araneta. So she's excited. She's definitely giving me advice. And actually, well, yeah, one other friend is Karen. She wasn't in PVP, but she we did a little walk practice just for fun. I'm excited. <laughs> you just clarify which Karen are you talking Karen about? Karen Mendoza. She was Karen Lauren. 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 If I may, just another question. OK. Um, um, yeah. The Miss Universe pageant will be held in Mexico, and do you already know what kind of a woman they are looking for there? I mean, I think it comes with the new restrictions that have been lifted. I feel like they're looking for someone's heart. It's not about labels, it's not about where you're from, it's about who you are as a person and, and what you have to say and, and the change that you can make. So I feel like that's what they're looking for is authenticity. Her name is Frank Just a real Russell. Raw person. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your appointment at the Vessel Club team. Thank you so much. Vanilla Bulletin? She's not here. Hello, good afternoon. This is Jay from Pageant Trend. And first, I would like to congratulate Sir Josh for this successful accredited arm. I mean, uh, purchasing of uh, the franchise of Miss Universe New Zealand. And my first question is, of course, our uh, queen of the hour is the Miss Universe New Zealand, Frankie. Frankie, how are you? I'm amazing. Thank you. All right, uh, Frank, Frankie, uh, we all know that you're an artist and a model and you've joined PBB. So could you tell, tell us uh, about your experience in PBB? So I moved to the Philippines in 2019 to explore my mother's side, my, my mother's side, my culture. And it was really kind of an overnight thing that happened for me, which I, I, I'm so grateful for every day. I learned so much in there and I met so many incredible people who are now some of my best friends today and I feel like I really grew a lot. When I look at my PVB self, I feel I'm looking at a, a young girl who was lost about her identity. I really learned about my Filipino roots in that past four or five years and now I feel like I'm standing here as a whole. I'm my New Zealand self, my Filipina self, and I'm, I'm just so excited. And uh, now that you've learned a lot uh, from the PVB, so how can you apply it uh, now that you are the official uh, candidates of Miss Universe New Zealand and of course the Miss Universe. So I really love the quote, nothing worth having comes easy. And I feel throughout my BBB journey, it was a roller coaster. I think if you watched, I was, I was crying in there. It was, there were struggles, there were, I was missing my family. I think I had one call to my mom the whole time I was there. So it was tough, but that, the, what came out after that was a whole career for me here in the Philippines, which I, I'm so blessed and grateful for. I, I just love living and, and working here in the Philippines. And, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Frankie. And my next question is for Sir Josh. <laughs> um, Sir Josh, uh, what else are you plan to Frankie on her journey to the Miss Universe competition? Well, um... I think that, you know, she needs to uh, train. Uh, she has been, you know, uh, training with a few trainers, you know, secretly uh, um, for the past few days. Pero I think she wanted to also um, uh, do a lot of charities. Uh, this morning pala we had, uh, I'm not sure if I can actually announce it, we had a, a national director's um, town hall meeting with uh, Ms. O. 
and then they're actually uh, prioritizing um, uh, charities and philanthropy work. And I actually love that because you know we we are actually very close to Smile Train, we're handling Smile Train uh, in the Middle East. And Frankie, I remember her asking me uh, during the pandemic if she can actually help Smile Train in Dubai. Mm -hmm. You know, and and she and she did. And you know, even without a crown, even without a shash. So right now, I'm so excited for her that that she has a title and she can do more. She can use her voice uh, for more for more good and for more philanthropy. So for me, uh, I'm excited about that as well. You know, to uh, to help a lot of you know people, uh, especially young kids uh, who needs our, our help. And you know, in our little ways, maybe we can help them. All right. Um, another follow up question, po. Um, uh, Shafre, our budget transfer. Curious in asking about, uh, are you also incorporate since uh, she is representing New Zealand? Are you also incorporating with uh, some of the Filipino designers or um, international designers for her OOTD and as well evening gown? And uh, at the same time, um, uh, when it comes to her national costume. Well, as you know, uh, last year uh, Erica's uh, gown uh, was made by Fern, uh, mm -hmm. and then it's, it's an amazing, you know, couture. Uh, cape uh, with a hoodie, uh, like parang uh, kapatid ng version ni Evelyn Kalimpa of Miss Universe Bahari. Pero uh, I think uh, for Frankie, uh, she has the right, for me I believe in, in women's right to be able to choose whatever she wants. But andito lang ako to guide her. Uh, I know a lot of designer friends, as you know, I, I work in the fashion industry as well, and I'm friends na fashion designer. So, uh, if she actually wants someone, like now she is wearing a beautiful gown by Equator, right? So it, it's amazing and I, I, I feel like, you know, her being uh, so in the entertainment industry, she has a good taste. Because, eh? you know, when you're groomed by ABS, CBN, uh, a mogul, you know, uh, in, in the industry, ang galing nilang magkulma ng, ng mga celebrities and they have like really good taste. So I feel like, you know, uh, she can do it, but I'm here to, to guide her. All right. Thank you. Congratulations in advance, Paul. <clears throat> Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, po. Good afternoon, Josh and Frankie. Good afternoon. So, I don't know if I'm going to ask a question. I'm no longer going to ask a question. I just want to say that I'm really happy seeing you, and you look amazing. Oh, someone is asking how tall you are. Was this discussed earlier? <laughs> Great question. Um, I'm actually 5'5", five five, but I feel, I think it's my limbs or something because everyone's uh, reaction is always like, Haga. but you know, we've got heels and things and no longer are there any restrictions. You can be any weight, height, anything. So, yeah. Ito, may question na pala ako. Ito na, may pumasok na na question. I don't know if I don't know if this was asked earlier, but what is your advocacy and how have you been working on it? I'm glad you asked that. No, we haven't spoke about it yet. My advocacy is cyberbullying. And I'm really excited about about choosing this as my advocacy because actually the the statistics are alarming. When you think of New Zealand, Deva, you think it's this lush, green, beautiful country. And it is all those things. New Zealand has so much to offer in terms of tourism and but how are the people doing? And I, I really want to spark this conversation because statistically, in a study done over 35 countries, it ranks as number two for bullying um, when nine-year-olds were interviewed, which is really crazy to see. And then, so we all know that cyberbullying can lead to depression and at the very worst, suicide. So when we think of suicide, it, it's just so, it should never happen. They're about to end their life so short. So. I found out that between 15 and 24 year olds in males, it is the number one yeah, suicide rate. Right. Yes. So we, we actually visited the ambassador of New Zealand uh, a week or two ago, uh, Peter Kell, and he really shared some, some shocking statistics with us. And I just really want to start that conversation about cyberbullying. My follow up question to cyberbullying is that um, since you are a public figure, you're now a beauty queen, if someone approaches you, a young person, um, asking for advice on bullying on social media, what can you give that person as an advice? The first thing I think of is to tell, to tell somebody. I, I believe that a problem shared is a problem halved. Mm. And tell someone who is in a position to help you, whether that be your parent or a teacher at school, 
or even if it's really bad law enforcement. I mean, there, there are organizations um, that are there to help you and hopefully you can find support system to share your experience and get through this and combat it. My last question is, um, right now we're having Miss Universe Philippines in this country. We're trying to look for a worthy representation as well. Have you checked out the girls and are you rooting for anyone in particular? Only every day. <laughs> I'm, I'm a super fan of, of Miss Universe Philippines. I'm, I'm really excited to see, can she be my roommate? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to learn who it, who it will be, but yes, I have been following this so many strong contestants this year. They're all bringing their A-game, and you want to know specifically who I'm... Sure, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I've never, I've never met them, actually, but if we're going solely based on what I've seen online, Miss Baguio is so stunning for me. She's, she's, she just looks so, so authentic and, and gorgeous, like a true Filipino beauty. I really, I really admire her. Thank you so much, thank you. Uh, Sasha, Sanskrit. Ay, ako. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Um, I think this is going to be a shared question for both of you. Um, I want to get your perspective because um, pageantry is one of the few remaining uh, platforms that is available for women. And um, in some countries, pageantry is dying. So what are your thoughts on what are the things that um, we as a community can do uh, in order to make it thrive and survive? I think we need to constantly innovate and take a risk because uh, as I believe that you know you cannot cross the ocean unless you forget the beauty of the shore. So you really have to uh, change, uh, as I mentioned, change is the only constant thing in this world. So um, I'm actually pro what Kun An and the team did that you know, they removed the age limit. Uh, a woman of any status, either married, divorced, or pregnant can actually join. So for me, these changes are actually innovating the pageant scene. So uh, for me, that's the only way for us to move forward. Thank you. How about you, Frankie, as a pageant queen? Um, what's your thoughts on that? So I really feel that Miss Universe is more than just a beauty pageant. And they're really proving it today with how they're keeping up with the times. It's so modern and they're, they're making these big, bold changes that is, is just reboosting and, and letting everyone know why pageant is pageantry is so relevant now and how it's really creating a safe platform for women to share their advocacies and that's the main thing if we can just help those that don't feel heard or seen then, then that's our job done um, just a follow-up question as for both of you as well um, the pageant uh, community the fandom is very conservative in nature um, so uh, what can you say to convince them that these progressive uh, moves uh, and changes is necessary for the uh, community to thrive, for pageantry to survive? Um, I think I cannot generalize that, that every uh, one or every fan of pageantry is conservative. Sorry mm -hmm. for my voice. Huh? Um, because, you know what, handling, I can say, the most challenging countries. Nasakin. <laughs> Miss Universe Marie, Miss Universe Pakistan, Miss Universe Egypt. Ano ba? 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 Ano countries. And how many countries are there? Like 150 plus. So, hirap na hirap kami from Philippines. Hindi kami makapunta ng UAE. Wala siyang visa. Hindi kami makapunta ng Turkey. Hindi kami makapunta ng Colombia. So, hindi kami makapunta ng El Salvador, which was even a visa. But you know, wala kaming route na pupuntahan. I need to speak to all the ambassadors that I know to be able to give us a visa. And kaya siya, you know, this is the reason why she was late. You know, for a few days. But of course, I actually justified that because she has a, a Pakistani passport. And we have to, you know, be empathetic with her kasi hindi siya kasi swerte nating mga Pilipino na you know, we can travel to Thailand, to Hong Kong, to you know, to everywhere and not easily get a visa to Japan or US or, or Europe because you know, we are not tag as terrorist country. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they are tag as terrorist countries but sometimes, you know, they are tag as that. And you know, having a Miss Universe in that country is sobrang challenging na. 
And then sometimes I'm asking myself, bakit ko ba ito ginagawa? Bago ba yung mga kalas na yung So, to be sobrang hira, parang gusto ko ba masokista ba? Or, ano, um, pero, that's the reason why I, I'm so happy with Miss New Zealand kasi sobrang easy lang. It's a peace, it's a peace for me. Uh, pero, as I mentioned, as long as there's a girl dreaming, I'm here to, you know, support and help. So, thank you. Oh, I'm really excited that, that Josh Eugen has paved the way and, and opened up and put New Zealand back on the map in terms of pageantry. I mean, there's been a four or five year hiatus, and but that's not the only hiatus. It's actually been a constant thing where there's been a three, four year gap. I really feel like this is going to spark a change and maybe the, the attitudes of Kiwi women, it will inspire them more to join. And and so it's just consecutive every year. We need to see, feel that representation on the stage from New Zealand. And how many people are there in New Zealand? Only five. There's five million. Five million only, yeah. like compared to us, 120. Yeah. Yeah. Five million. Sorry, yeah. five million. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Five years old. And uh, I think <laughs> thirty or oh, more, more than three quarters are in Auckland. So imagine the rest of the, the South Island. It's so, yeah, so spread out. Super quiet, Thank you. Or the Philippines. Or the Philippines. Mabu hi. <laughs> Um, question is for Frankie. Um, hello. hello. Um, Frankie, because the past few weeks or days, I saw your video and photos with Kai and Laurie. Um, you guys watch the the uh, year's tour. So can you give us your top one uh, song of Taylor Swift and why? Oh. 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 Yes, that's true. Another question. Swiftie <laughs> ako. I I really love Taylor Swift, and I was she's such a strong woman, and she really tells her story throughout all her songs. She's so fearless and unafraid to be herself and spill her emotions, and I really love her for that. My favorite song. Would be lover. Uh, <laughs> lover. Lover girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. A follow up question. Um, March is uh, International Women's <laughs> Month, and what's your message to all the women out there in uh, um, dreaming to be a beauty queen just like you? Wow, that's a great question, and, and happy International Women's Day to everyone out yeah. there. Um, it's it's such a blessing and a the superpower to be a woman. You know, you can be a wife, you can be a mother, you can be from all walks of life, and you're able to enter and compete in this universe. I mean, nothing is well impossible. You really can do whatever you put your mind and heart to, and I feel that me standing in front of you today is, is exactly that. It's 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 years of of just manifesting and dreaming and the coming to fruition and I'm just really so grateful to Josh and everyone from this universe New Zealand. This is this is gonna be something you've never seen before. I really I'm really so excited for this journey. Okay. Um question of is for Mommy Josh. <laughs> uh, Mommy Josh, um what can you share us your I know, um exact feeling and reaction during um the competition of Miss Universe last year. The moment na the host announced that uh, Miss Pakistan entered and one of the top 20 <laughs> finalists. Yeah, Adam Dewey is asking. Kumusta ka, kumusta ka that time? So, actually, kami ni Ian, uh, magkatabi sa El Salvador, and then a lot of national directors kasi nandun sa um, same na spot. Mm -hmm. And most of them are my friends. And alam na yung mga Latinos na nakanto, including Natalie of Miss Universe Colombia na super friend ko. Uh, and then, uh, Nagdulungkot na kami actually kasi ang dami pang hindi niya tao. I mean, I love Mexico, mm -hmm. Miss France, hindi pa din niya tao. Miss Canada, hindi pa din niya tao. So naluluka na kami. Ano to? Parang yung mga, yung ang gaganda. Uh, Miss France, hindi pa din niya tao. No? Di ba? So parang, Oh, Wala pang Philippines. Philippines hindi pa din ako. So parang ang ito, ang nangyayari, parang gusto kong magmura. Kasi <laughs> 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 meron na ka live, so hindi sa sabihin. Sa may camera. So nung tinawag yung Pakistan, grabe. You know, yung paos ko na to, wala to. Talagang paos na paos ko, wala nang marina na boses sa amin kakasigaw. Even Adam is actually, you know, beside, I think like a few seats, you know, uh, beside us. And talagang nagtatatalon din si Adam. So parang, I, I'm so happy kasi they celebrated Erica. Kasi nakita nila yung struggle ni Erica eh. Parang feeling ko sa lahat ng candidate, and I'm going to like, you know, safety say this one, siya yung pinakanahirapan. Kasi siya yung first ever pass. Like, imagine the passion that she had. She was featured... BBC, BBC, and BBC called her shameful. 
you know, on the title, BBC never publish, uh, you know, uh, a lot of things, including Philippines or Chinese or, you know, but they publish Erica because of that. Because uh, she was stigmatized by one ex, you know, politician from their country. And then, ang dami nang tanggol sa kanya. Sabi nila na parang sa dami ng problema ng Pakistan, bakit yung budget rin na asikaso nyo? So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a very heartwarming uh, message na nakapasok siya. Na grabe yung challenge na, pero grabe rin yung tagumpay niya just because pinaghirapan niya lahat. And nakita ko siya dito na parang sabi niya, Josh, I want to stay more because I want to train more with Ian Lawrence. Uh, and Ian Lawrence, super thankful of Ian Lawrence kasi talagang uh, she, he, sorry, she, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't know. But she, uh, she actually, uh, she actually said na um, uh, itali natin pa siya, kasi anito pa naman siya. And, and she's so generous to, to, to us. So I'm, I'm super excited na uh, tulungan pa yung mga next na girls, uh, even though they have challenging countries like Pakistan, Bahrain, or you know Egypt, to be able to be on the Miss Universe uh, stage. And speaking of Ian Mendahar, so. Um, may ilang porsyento na ba ang chance na siya ulit ang maging train? For sure, 100%. 100%. Kasi I love, I love Ian so much. Uh, she's very authentic. She's very generous. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, she's very fair ha, sa mm -hmm. lahat. Um, of course, she's training a lot of queens as well. And I'm, I'm so happy kasi nakita ko dami yung train sa Miss Universe Philippines. Ang gagaling nilang lahat. And, uh, and but she's, she's very, you know, fair to, to to everyone so I'm, 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 I'm I hope I hope that you know it's going to be Ian Lawrence and uh, another trivia uh, last year kasi Michelle D invited us for dinner yung nandito si Miss Bahrain Miss Pakistan and Miss Egypt and then I invited Frankie over sa dinner so nandun siya may, meron kaming meron sarili if you go to Michelle D sarili nandun siya so hindi ko alam yung New Zealand at that time so, but you know that destiny is sometimes very mysterious and very magical. So, I feel like, andun din si Ian Lawrence. So, sabi ko, Frankie, and pinipilot namin si Frankie mag-join ng Miss Universe Philippines that, that, that time. That, I mean, this year. So, sabi namin, Frankie, magpa-train ka kay, ano, kay Ian Lawrence. So, for me, I love Ian Lawrence to, you know, to train them. Shout out to Ian <laughs> and Clara. Um, last question. So, uh, Mami Josh, kasi nung nakapasok na si Miss Pakistan to Top 20, um, kumusta yung naging celebration or nagkaroon ba ng celebration from her country? You know what? I'm so happy kasi for me, Miss Universe is a transformative, mm -hmm. you know, event or platform. Um, coming from okay. a girl na nag-audition, uh, an aspiring model, and ngayon, Erika is now the ambassador of the United Nations wow. in Pakistan. Oh. Imagine that. Uh, siya ang uh, uh, recent ambassador ng Nestle. Nestle Pakistan. You know, Nestle is so big. Uh, a lot of brands actually, you know, took her. She traveled to Thailand, to Turkey, to Qatar. Uh, she's invited to the US. So, grabe yung, ano yung transformation na nangyari sa kanya from a single, from, uh, from uh, a single journey lang and then as aspiring model. So, for me, kahit, it's of course it's business at the end of the day. Pero kahit hindi kami masyado, it's not it's not it's not fulfilling, you know, financially. Uh, because of these countries, you don't have sponsors like you know the, the big countries have. Ang saya ang saya lang sa puso na parang may natulungan tong babae na umangat na nagiba yung buhay na bago may buhay. Wala yung kapalit for me. So I think it's a uh, it's something that makes me happy. Okay. Congratulations again, Mami Josh and Miss. Thank you. Project Chronicles. Mail. Mail. Male copperies. A peppery. Uh, my question is, um, what do you consider your core value that can help you bring the Miss Universe title? Would be my Kiwi spirit. I really believe that we have it's innate in us. We're we're laid back, chill people, but we get the work done, and we we know what it's like to be resilient and push through. And I really feel that it's a combination of both my cultures that will shine in my performance and in my journey as Miss Universe in Zealand. I, I'm excited that we, we get to have the best trainers in the world. It's, it's Filipino owned and it's, it's been very exciting. My last question, question um, why do you think you should be crowned as the second New Zealander Miss Universe? Ah! Wait, 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 wait,
Mas maganda na ko stand up. Oo, stand up, stand up. Introduction muna. Start. Introduction muna. Sample introduction. Wait, 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 which most recently led to me living here in the Philippines, exploring where my mother is from. And pageantry has always been a dream of mine, but it's a dream that's been put aside. And I like to say that this is a 10-year journey in the making for me. Um, it's, it's always been a dream that I just here I am. I'm standing in front of you as your Miss Universe New Zealand. And why do I think I should be the Miss Universe? Is because. <laughs> wow, this word final now is <laughs> <laughs> <I'm exam> <laughs> Well, I really think that it, my experience now throughout life, where I've lived, the different cultures I've got to explore, has made me the person who I am today. I, I really feel that I'm at a point in my life where I'm ready to give back. No longer am I exploring who I am as a person. I'm here now excited to share that and and empower women. I hope this empowers Kiwis, young Kiwi women to want to get behind pageantry and, or support their local advocacies because that's what we're all here for is to, to help those that are in need and, and my advocacy is cyberbullying so I really hope we can put a stop to that. Thank you. Sample yeah. introduction in the stage. Sample yeah. yeah. introduction. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, go. Okay. Frankie Russell, Miss Universe New Zealand! Yes! One more. One more. Right. One more. <laughs> Frankie Russell, Miss Universe New Zealand! Woo! All right, thank you. Thank you, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking this is the first time I've ever said that. Yeah. 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 Frankie, I just want to ask, Azul Jan, I just want to ask, can you give us a, uh, a recap? Uh, when did you hear that you will be the representative and how long you kept the... So you have three phones, right? Oh, boy. How long you kept the secret? It's, it's actually not been very long. It's only been a, a, a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's, it's really been so like a roller coaster, like a whirlwind, brother. Yeah. So I'm excited, and I'm just trying to be present and stay in the moment because I know this journey is going to go fast, and I just want to make sure I can make the most out of this and really, really shine for New Zealand. So what makes a, a Kiwi and a Pinoy uh, decision in terms of? I think really the love for their family. I think we, uh, we as Panoi and, and New Zealanders, we, we love our family. You know, it's a simple thing. We love sitting around sharing a good cooked meal, whether that be adobo or a meat pie or a pavlova in New Zealand. So it's, it's the small things. I mean, New Zealand is a very, it can be quite an isolated country. Where I come from in, in Dunedin, I actually grew up a little out of Dunedin, a small town called Waitati with only 500 people. So. It's it's greeting your neighbors, you know, your your kapit bahai here in, in the in the province. Maybe it's it's that connection. I feel that we really love to connect with one another, and that's that's something I think is a similar between the two countries. Frankie, we, we all know that you're a baby, you're an actress, but who are you as a um, as a friend, as a daughter? I. I really say I would get a lot from my mother, and I would describe my mother as a very caring and compassionate woman. She, she's very sensitive to, to certain topics, whether it be animal cruelty, which is really prevalent in our news right now, or, or down to kids, and, and, and I guess that's who I am. I, I really feel that I have a lot to show from my heart, and I, I hope that resonates as my, my journey with Miss Universe. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you. Star blood. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, hello, Frankie. Hello. Uh, if you would trade lives with any person in history, 
Ooh, the Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ah, I love that question. You know, I really love Princess Diana. It's it's a very, I think it might not be the most obvious choice, but I feel that during, she used her advocacies. She used her platform uh, to share her advocacies. You know, you would always see her connecting and, and helping those that are in need, and I, I really love that about her. She, she was very selfish right, right up until her, her passing. If you're asking someone that is, that is now passed. But if you're asking someone who's still alive, you, you may all have heard of Jacinta Arden. She was our past um, prime minister throughout the pandemic. She's female and, you know, she, she gave birth to a baby during her power. She's the second woman in office to do that. And I, I, I really commend her. I mean, we sadly had a shooting some years ago in Christchurch in um, Dunedin, a terrorist attack. And within six days, she tightened gun laws. Wow. So she's a woman who takes action and she takes change. So I couldn't imagine living a day in her life or just seeing what she goes through because I really feel I could learn so much if I saw that. I hope to meet her soon as we travel to New Zealand, but let's see. She thinks of things during the pandemic. Yes. 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 Saves thousands of lives. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. You passed the qual and quite Q and A in the flying <laughs> box. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait for the training then. <laughs> Wait for your cheek. One more question for oh. mommy jokes. Okay. Thank you. If you hope to embark on a private life and uh, stay away from the beats and glamour of entertainment and pageantry world, what legacy would you love to be remembered of? Well, before pageantry, I own uh, a magazine, Expedition Magazine. We're having a deal, uh, you know, tonight outside. That's why uh, it's actually so uh, colorful outside. Uh, and I own a beer company that handles a lot of fashion uh, brands and clients, and we work with a lot of stars, of course, including you know Ariana Grande, Kylie Jenner, and a lot of you know Nicole Scherzinger, a lot of stars. Um, so I feel like even without pageantry, that's my life. Pero I. I'm a private person. I, I feel like, you know, uh, at the same time, I'm also public kasi wala naman akong dapat tago. So parang, for example, I go to the grocery na hindi naman siguro nagagawa ng mga uh, superstars. Pero I'm, I'm, for me, I'm very normal. I'm a normal person. Uh, again, uh, for me, hindi ko nakikitaan ng... It's not about the glitz and glamour for, uh, for, for the pageant day for me. It's, it's just about, you know, uh, giving a platform to women. Because if I want glitz and glamour, siguro ibang industry yung gagawin ko. So, um, maybe do like more of the fashion or can film festival like I did, you know, last year. But for me, I love pageantry because I love Miss Universe. Uh, ever since I was young, nanonood ako ng Miss Universe. So, uh, umuwi ako ng school agad, you know, para lang makapalo ng Miss Universe. Or even like, you know, I... I uh, make up stories na I'm, I have fever para lang hindi ako umasok. So, so, uh, so uh, but, but still, you know, it's my passion. So for me, uh, I'm just doing what makes me happy. You know, and, and maybe next year if someone tells me na, Josh, I want to handle, you know, Bahrain, maybe I can handle it better than you, so I can give it. You know, for me, it's okay. Walang mawawala sa akin. As long as, long as may makinuman na akong bird, I can actually help you. Thank you so much. Next. Any more questions? Pageantology. Hello, Paul. Um, again, uh, frankly, congratulations. Finally, I'm a fan then since uh, 2019, the PDD. Oh, but I'm so happy to support that. Yeah, of course. Uh, I was happy to be able to do it. It's a long challenge. It's a long challenge. Well, maybe that prepared me for this very moment. <laughs> Alright, again, congratulations to you, Mama Josh. And my question po muna for you. By the way, my, J, uh, my name is JR from Pageantology 101. Right, shout out to Mama Edge. <laughs> and um, her question po from Mama Edge po is, the old franchise with in Muslim countries like UAE, Egypt, and Pakistan. So what kind of approach are you going to bring for Miss Universe New Zealand? I think it's a journey for me, but it's the same. Um, I'm going to give them the best training that they deserve. Uh, and then the rest is, you know, upon them. Because however I work hard as a national director to give them everything, it's still with the girl. Kaya nakita nyo na parang there, there's so many, you know, amazing, fantastic organizations. Pero yung girl, di pa rin nananalo. Because, you know, it's still with the girl. 
whatever happens, it's not about the organization, it's not about how favorite yung national director or something, it's about the girl all the time. So for me, uh, I would just like do my best, I'll give them the platform, I'll give them the best training, but still, you know, it's up to them. And I believe this is also my edge because I choose, you know, the best girl for New Zealand. So. Yes. And the Miss Universe. Right, and my question is for our Miss Universe New Zealand 2024, um, Frankie. Uh, this question is from a friend, uh, just to give a shout out to you. Um, yeah. All right. Again, his question: uh, What culture aspects or values of New Zealand do you hope to share with the world, or the universe rather, during the time as Miss Universe New Zealand? Definitely, I want to show the beautiful tourism of New Zealand. If you get the opportunity to visit there, there's so much more to see rather than Lord of the Rings or what you may already think of. There's so many hidden little towns that if you just take a car ride and drive around, you'll see waterfalls, you'll, you'll talk to the most amazing people. It's, there's really a lot to see and I really hope to inspire people to want to visit there and to maybe yeah, take a little bit of Kiwi with you everywhere you go. Thank you. Congratulations, Nipo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any more questions? Okay. 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 Thank you guys for your time. Okay. I just want to say thank you to anyone who is supporting me out there. I really feel like everything that I have gone through in this life has led me to this very moment. I'm here standing in the Philippines as your Miss Universe New Zealand 2024. And I, I just cannot wait to share the exciting journey that we have ahead. And I'm really grateful to Josh Eugen and the group for, for getting this franchise and putting New Zealand back on the stage, back on the map in terms of pageantry. And I hope this inspires just a few girls, or hopefully thousands, to, to want to join next year for Miss Universe New Zealand. There's so many beautiful Kiwis out there, and uh, this is just the beginning and, and a reboot, I feel, for Miss Universe New Zealand. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. Congratulations! Woo. Thank you so much, Take a picture now. Yeah. I love it. Picture. Middle moon, center moon. Yeah. yeah, center. Center. <laughs> center. Yeah, center. 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 Okay. And center, and center. Uh, center again. Center first.